Yes, friends, we have a situation regarding the road section. We will do the asphalt and pollution here. In terms of reflection, friends, we can also add a tree to this section. We can do that with the insert command when the road is finally finished, like this. I'm going to the Mega Strider library. I press the heart icon. There were textures I used before, friends. There were textures. I will look at which ones we can use from them, like to speed up the work a bit more. How about if we use this one? Let's take a look. You can activate the textures you have used before here. There was a surface like this here. This could work, but it could be a bit darker of this. There are asphalts, look friends. There are different kinds of asphalts like this. Let's try them, let's see. There are many different types of asphalt here. We can use them. Concrete. It says, uh, this is a type of asphalt that is more like concrete, I guess. Yes. I mean, this won't work, of course. Let's say asphalt from here. So there is a different type of asphalt like this. It's a bit more textured asphalt, but look here. The exact points are clearly defined, so it won't really serve our purpose. Look a bit more. It says 40 asphalt. Let's see if we've made an exit. Yes, sometimes these entry and exit issues can be problematic, friends. So you need to re-enter now. Look, it became active. Let me activate it from here. I took this download and I placed it here. Right? Yes, it seems to look quite nice now. Look, I'm selecting the road from this part, friends. I selected this, then I placed it and left it. Look at how it appears, or I did this again, and strengthened it, then placed it here. Yes, it seems so. Normally, let's increase um, the skill value a bit. Look, subscribe in this way. The places where the vehicles have passed on the road are clearly visible, friends. Here, we can do something like this. Generally, a slight pollution, a slight texture pollution, reducing the amount of light on it, will create a more effective texture for us. It doesn't look bad on the sidewalk, actually. There are these white lines. We can make those white lines a bit darker because it stands out. Let's make it slightly darker. Yes. In fact, let's make these a bit darker as well, friends. Let it be like this, yes. Let them look different from each other. Yes, now what we're going to do, as we always do, friends, is to go from this part back to the object section to the decal section. In the decal section here, you can add various materials here yourself. For example, a water grate. Let it stay in these parts. It will look nice. You decorate these in various ways here. Friends, we did it like this. There's already a channel here. Let me bring it right to the edge of that channel. In this way, I will duplicate a few of these. I'm doing the same on this side. Friends, it would be good if you press the shift key. I duplicated three of them. Yes. What else can we use? I'm looking. There's a hidden camera here. I will use graffiti. I'll use a stain right in front of the road, friends. There could be a stain here. Let me rotate it like this. You can create variations in different ways.
There might be a Kref situation over there. There is a damage over there. This looks more like an old road. We used it a bit too much, but that's okay. Since we will be influenced different places, I'm doing it this way because I want it to be in the camera's angle, friends. Of course, you can use it differently in cleaner places. Like this. Uh, I mean, when I render from such an angle, it will look nice. There are even puddles. They also look quite sweet. Look, like this. Let's place this in various places. Because soon, we will take renders from nice angles, and we will use them. You can also enlarge its size like this. Let the two mix together like this with each other, as I did with the opacity. Let me do it like this. It can be done like this. Yes. At the same time, you come from this part, from the mixing section here. Look, we have leaves, friends. If you want to populate them by saying populate here, it might be better to paint them. It can be done linearly from the spacing section, but paint seems more suitable for this. When we leave this and that, and increase this a bit, friends, this became too many leaves. Look, it's too much. Let's do the edges and corners like this, look. First, let's paint this like this. Let's do it like this. You can erase this later. When you delete like this. In this way. A nicer, more natural situation occurs, friends. A little from here. This side will be very visible, but still for the sake of realism. I lightly touch it like this, over it. I'm going over it like this, friends. Yes. Let's take a look and press the render button. In fact, let's keep the render button on our height here. Let's see how our render looks, friends. Of course, we will render with different effects. Rainy and sunny. I have currently set it to sunny weather. It will look nicer in rainy weather. We can enlarge these parts a bit with the vehicles. We can enlarge this part a bit more to allow the shadows to fall more on the building. Friends? Let's see if it finishes. We were going to make a spot here in these parts. We forgot about that. The spot lamp part. By making two spot lamps for them, we can create a downward lighting here. Yes, as you can see, it's quite clear. The light might be a bit too much. We will also adjust the reflection cast by the trees, friends. And at the same time, in the ambiance menu, here in the FX section, we have contrast and image sections. We will work on those. For now, our system is still running. So I will move to this part here. First, let's adjust the size of these trees, friends. I want them a bit larger here. The trees, I mean, from this part, Let's adjust the spacing a bit. Yes, be this. Let's adjust this. I'm selecting all of these. I'm going down. Look, when I select, another menu appears below, friends. Normally, it doesn't appear without selecting. Let's say scale offset like this. This problem. Yes. Thin leaf. A structure whose back is visible. 
This way it becomes a tree. Yes. Now let's create a tree system here, friends. Again, I say populate. I say ARIA, the best ARIA I use, friends. It becomes a painting system, but ARIA also gives good results. It's enough to do it randomly like this. You can place a tree in this part. To ensure both the glare from the front and the more natural spread of sunlight coming through, friends. Of course, it increases something a bit. How should I say? It slightly reduces mobility. But it gives an effective result, friends. Let's say random spacing. Yes. When we look, look, the sunlight and reflection from the back have changed, friends. The effect has changed. Because the effect changed, a different method has emerged. There are a bit too many leaves here. We can remove them. Let's. Shrink this a bit. Like this. Yes. There's a situation regarding the effect. Look, when we come to the ambience part, friends, uh, let me go back a bit more to the ambience part. Let me update this. Let me adjust the image. Look, there's the direction of the sun here. When we set the direction of the sun from the back, when it comes from the back, let's hit render. The sun coming from behind us causes a different effect here. Look, friends, on the ground. With the effect of the leaves, these refractions and color tones have completely changed. With a more beautiful, more vibrant effect, it creates. While doing this, of course, conditions like sunny weather or cloudy weather affect us. Let's do it this way. This is the dynamic sky part, friends. The dynamic sky part is like this. Let's press a render from here. How will it look? I reduce the sun a bit more. The internet part. I can take a render from here. Let's see. Let's look at the render part. Friends, it will be nicer. Now, I will focus a lot on this effect part for now. Let me come to the export part. From the image section here, select image 3, friends. Then I came to the media section, if I'm not mistaken. From this media section, from the image section, let's make this one 4K. Subscribe. I say export. Selected. Let the export remain. Let it finish this render, friends. After finishing the render, let's export it. Let's see after we export it, what kind of effect it will create. For now, I have dimmed the light and set the sun to the evening, friends. I think this way it will create a nice effect. Already, on the left side, by keeping a vehicle and people walking on the road, we will increase the interaction. We will achieve a more beautiful effect. And we will add light to the interior along with HDR, friends. At the same time, we will also solve animation and other topics, hopefully. Look, the render is now finished. I am saying start export. Let's call this render tests in the training set section. Render test. I selected the folder. Of course, depending on the density of the scene here and the resolution we have chosen, this waiting time increases and decreases. Friends, um, I made it 4K. 4K under normal conditions for such an eastern scene because we filled this area with trees and all the textures and coatings. Friends, for the current scene, it finishes in an ideal time of about 5 or 10 minutes, friends. Yes, friends, our work finished in approximately 3 or 4 minutes. Render time. Let's go right away and check from the training section.
from the training set training test render test section i say image three i'm looking as you can see it seems like the light is a bit a bit too much here friends we can tone it down with contrast and other parts it will actually look even better we can further reduce the light operation the reflections the reflections on the glass look quite nice look at the reflections on the glass here it looks good together with the trees we placed across very clear oh look we can do them like this. Of course, we haven't activated the rain effects yet. It will look even better. We haven't taken a closer render yet. We have our artist renders. We will do them. That's all for now, friends. In the next part, we will transition to different HDR systems by balancing a bit more. Friends.